Welcome to the Shaman card reveal and review of Showdown in the Badlands. Now, whenever new cards come out, you've got to evaluate them in the context of the class as it is currently. So what is Shaman right now? Uh, we took a look at the Vicious Syndicate report, and the latest report has Shaman as the second to least popular class, uh, of which the Shaman archetypes are mostly Totem Shaman with a few Nature Shamans out there. So with that in context, uh, you got to have that in context because if you're going to have a completely new archetype, then that new archetype better get really, really outstanding stuff like Death Knights got last time around, where Death Knights might have gotten enough good stuff for Rainbow Death Knight to be good. You have to have a lot of remarkable cards for that to be the case. So is that the case for Shaman? Uh, looks like right now their package is mostly elemental package, as well as a few control cards. So, let's see. We start with Amphibious Elixir, 2 mana nature spell. Discover 5 health, discover a spell. We've had cards similar to this before, such as Priest's Renew. Priest's Renew is pretty good. Uh, the 1 mana restore 3 health, discover a spell. Uh, this is a nature spell, so it could fit into Nature Shaman. Nature Shaman could certainly use some healing, could use some sustain. It's a solid card. Uh, two mana to, you know, Nature Spell is actually pretty important here. Two mana in order to just have this minor effect. It's pretty solid. Uh, it could certainly make its way into these Nature Shaman decks, which currently run a bunch of Nature Spells and could use some survivability. You've got Cactus Cutter, a 2 mana 2 2 Murloc. That'll try to draw a spell. If you cast it this turn, gain plus 1, plus 2, and taunt. This is an interesting one. I, I genuinely think it's interesting because obviously great to have a 2 mana 3 4 uh, draw a spell. Like, that would be fantastic. The problem is, how often do you get to draw and cast the spell on the same turn? The also interesting note is. That a 2 mana 2 2, which just draws a card, is actually pretty solid. Uh, it's got a Murloc tag, so could see it in some sort of Murloc deck. Uh, Shaman Murloc is an archetype, and probably the most important card of that archetype would be the Howdy Finn, uh, the 2 mana 2 3 Murloc, which continuously generates you Murlocs when you're out of the cards. So that's really good. While there's only one Shaman class Murloc here, it's quite possible that this card, as well as the neutral Murloc, is what'll boost the Murloc Shaman to viability. Although, when I say viability, when you only see these cards, you know, that's not really enough cards, once again, to boost an archetype that doesn't currently exist all the way to playability. So, good card! Definitely good card, but the question is, does the kind of mid-range deck that this would fit into work? Does it exist? I don't think it exists, and I don't think that'll make it good enough. Trusty Companion. Uh, when I said that that was the only card, Trusty Companion is actually another card that is quite good uh, for the Murloc and the Elemental Archetype, which we'll talk about shortly, the Elemental. Uh, two mana, give a minion, plus two, plus three. If it has a minion type, draw one of that type. So that's fantastic. Two mana, plus two, plus three, you know, fast buff, and draw a card attached to it, that's a really strong card. This uh, might be, you know, along with Cactus Cutter, along with the neutral Murloc, maybe that's what makes Murlocs great. Uh, this had originally escaped my grasp because I had originally thought to evaluate this in the context of elementals, but now I see that perhaps the power lies in Murloc Shaman. Uh, while they didn't get very many cards, the three cards here are quite good. Trust the Companion, Cactus Cutter, as well as the uh, draw three Murlocs whenever you have a small hand. Murloc, neutral. We evaluated the Hydrate quite a while ago, but uh, this looks especially poor since it doesn't have a nature tag. I don't think it would even see play with a nature tag, but yeah, three mana lifesteal, deal four damage to a minion, quick draw costs one. It's just... It's totally not going to work because it's the 
in response card uh, with a quick draw. It won't really be played quickly enough. Uh, you don't really want to play the in response card when it's drawn off the top of your deck. It's just, eh. Uh, we'll cover the elemental stuff in a bit. Shaman is one of the classes that gets a Highlander card, uh, which is if your deck has no duplicates. 5 mana, 4, 5. Battlecry if your deck has no duplicates. Equip the Staff of the Nine Frogs. And this is actually quite a remarkable staff. It's a 5 mana, 2, 9 weapon. That's the 18 damage on a weapon by itself over a long enough time. And after your hero attacks, summon a 1, 1 frog with taunt. Each frog is bigger than the last. So uh, if you... Quick little math trick. Uh, when you add up all the frogs, the last one's a 9, and the first one's a 1, uh, which means the second the last one's an 8, and the second one's a 2, which means you can combo the 1 and the 9, the 2 and the 8, the 3 and the 7, the 4 and the 6, to add those up to be 40-40, uh, and then you add the 5 in the middle. So that's 45-45 worth of stats, uh, plus 18 damage on a weapon. You know, that just might be good enough to be a Highlander payoff. And the big question mark is how good is the neutral Highlander of Reno going to be? Uh, big, big question mark on whether or not Highlander uh, decks will be good enough. And it's all based on just the unrevealed Reno card. Uh, but that Reno card better be really, really good because I'd say as good as that card is. Uh, and yes... Dr. Holiday is fantastic. It all depends on how good Reno is, because, yeah, this card is way above power level, and when you draw this on turn 5, you're going to win a lot, but the question is, do you have another thing that is a payoff for building a Highlander deck? And again, you got to remember that the Shaman uh, deck archetype isn't that strong for a lot of other... Uh, there's a lot of better control decks right now. Uh, those being Priest, Death Knight, Druid. You could call Count Rainbow Mage is basically a uh, control deck. Even Arcane Hunter, to some extent, and Hound Hunter is kind of control decks, and Control Warrior, Control Priest. It's like there's a lot of control decks or value decks that exceed those of Shaman right now, and a Highlander deck is inherently a value deck, where you play this value card as the big payoff, as well as whatever Reno is. So, my, I personally doubt that Reno will be strong enough to justify the Shaman Highlander deck, but this is clearly a really, really strong card, which if you were able to play on turn 5 all the time, then, you know, Highlander decks would be great. Uh, this would, of course, be in the Highlander Shaman deck if it existed. Giant Tumbleweed, 7 mana nature spell, deal 6 damage to all minions, summon a 6-6 six, six Tumbleweed. Yeah, solid board clear. Uh, nice that it comes with a tumbleweed. Does remind me a lot of the priest pop. Uh, harmonic part pop, dissonant pop. Uh, that's for six mana. You get both sides of it, essentially. Six damage and a 6-6. Six, six. So, cool. Uh, it's just that there are so many better control decks out there. And now we get to the package that's out here. Uh, five of these cards have to deal with elementals. We've seen the Trusty Companion, which are clearly really good uh, with a bunch of elementals. But Minecart Cruiser, 3 mana, 4, 5, elemental, rush, overload, 2. Valkyrie, if you played an elemental last turn, don't overload. So, cool. So 3 mana, 4, 5 with rush as long as you play elementals. Now, the payoff for this isn't actually that strong because you've got a Ogre in this set, which isn't even that you know, good comparatively. Ogre Gang Outlaw, the 3 mana 4-4 four, four rush, so if you jump through a hoop, you get the 3 mana 4-5 instead. So, good stats for the cost, but is it good enough to justify this completely new archetype? Living Prairie we saw early on, 5 mana 5-4 Balakrai, if you played an elemental last turn, summon 2-3-3 three, three cows with rush, so that's pretty solid. It's a 11-10, uh, Statted minion, of which 6-6 six, six, uh, is fast, it has rush, so that's good. But is it good enough to make an archetype? Uh, now we see the scar, the catastrophe, the 
big payoff for playing this deck. 777 Elemental Battlecry deal 1 damage to all enemies. Improved by each turn in a row, you've played an Elemental. This card is actually quite bad. You clearly played an Elemental deck, but it's not something that's that exciting. Uh, I'd say, I mean, the maximum payoff is obviously you curved it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maximum realistic payoff. And then you play the 7 Scar. And then you've got your 777 seven, seven deal 7 damage to all enemies. Uh, prerequisite, you played an Elemental deck. And you know what? That's just not good enough. And an Elemental deck is showing itself to be a tempo-oriented deck. So it's not even going to include this Elemental, which is Walking Mountainy, massive 9-mana 416, Rush Lifesteal, Mega Wind Fury, Overload 2. Uh, this is meant to be played in a control deck, probably in a Highlander uh, Shaman deck, if the Highlander deck archetype worked. Uh, it's meant for value, it's meant for control. Uh, you play it on 9, you manage to kill maybe 1 or 2 or maybe 3 small things, possibly even 4. Uh, you gain your 16 health. So, cool. It reminds me a lot of Tidal Wave. Uh, and Tidal Wave, you know, didn't make Control Shaman good, and Tidal Wave isn't even that good. So, interesting Shaman cards. Uh, Murloc? Elemental? Eh? Highlander? You've got three archetypes uh, that are being plotted here, and that's a problem because none of the archetypes are what Shaman are currently playing, and will these archetypes be good because of Shaman, uh, because of these cards given to Shaman? You know, the cards are, they're decent, but are they strong enough to push the class to greatness? And I'm not seeing it here, unfortunately. All right. I was expecting Hunter to be the next class, but Hunter, next up, we'll see how good the Hunter fares.